Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up coupons with WooCommerce. So we're in the WordPress dashboard and here is WooCommerce. Now you can see here that there's no setting for coupons. Don't worry, there's a reason for this, it's because they, they have not been enabled yet. So you just go to the settings, check out and you will see here coupons and it's not enabled so if you enable it then save and go to WooCommerce you will see here now there is a new um, tab for coupons so we're going to go into that and we're going to all your coupons will be listed down here and to add a new coupon the coupon test 10 and you can give it a description for example 10% off the car purchase now there's some other small settings um, on the type of coupon that you want your customers to have so under general you can choose so we're going to have um, we want a discount on the car so I'm going to choose this one there's four options. You can use a cart discount, which will give a set amount of the cart purchase. Uh, this will give a percentage of the cart purchase. Uh, then you can have the product discount, which will give a set amount of a product or multiple products, which you can set up in the usage restriction area. And also a percentage of a product or multiple products. So for this one, we're going to use um, a cart discount percentage, and I'm going to set that to 10. Here, there is a free shipping option, which you can enable. So this, uh, if you check this, it will uh, grant free shipping to the user. But you also need to set up free shipping in your shipping zones first. And the last one on this tab is the coupon expiry date, which you can add if you want the coupon to expire at any time. Next, we have usage restrictions. So you can have a minimum spend. So the coupon will only apply if, you've, if there is a minimum amount in the cart. Uh, and the same if there's a maximum limit. If you go over that amount, the coupon will not work. Uh, this is quite an important one, the individual use only. I recommend using this one um, to check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. So say for example you have five coupons out there and somebody decides to use all of them together. Uh, <laughs> if you've not checked this box, then they the uh, discount from each one can get added together. So you could end up... <laughs> selling your product for nothing uh, if you're not careful with this one. Uh, exclude sale items. Uh, so if you have any products on sale and you don't want them to be part of the coupon deal, uh, you can check this box as well. Now here, as we talked about before with uh, your options for the coupon being in the cart, like a full cart coupon or a full product coupon here you can set certain products that you want to be in used for your coupon so you could add multiple products here or you can exclude products so maybe there's certain products that you don't want to be used in the cart uh, for the coupon also you could add categories so if you for example you were selling uh, you're a clothing store and you wanted your coupon to be used for only the t-shirts category you could add that here and then the coupon will only work for that particular category and the same you can exclude certain categories also you can add an email restriction so here you could add in people's emails and only people who only users that are logged in um, with certain emails so their email you can add their email here and only they will be able to use these types of coupons so maybe you have a special coupon that you want only a certain group of your customers to use you can add their emails in here and the final one is the usage limits so 
The first one is usage limit per coupon. Now with this one, uh, this is how many times the coupon can be used. If you leave this blank, then it can be used unlimited amount of times. Um, and also you can limit it per user. So maybe you want the coupon to be used as many times as possible, but only once by each customer. So you can add one in there. Then you will simply publish it. And now you have your coupon. So you can distribute this coupon um, and it will be used at checkout by your customers to give off uh, to give 10% off the cart purchase. And just to check here, yep, you will see your coupon that you've just added and all the information about it. If you want more information about coupons and coupon management, uh, I have some links in the description below that will take you to some great resources for this. Thank you.